Lawrence on a play fake, throws high, but the reliable tight end goes up. Ross, both these teams play such a familiar style of offensive football. It is power football right at you. As the true freshman, Emilio Martinez, gets in fullback. They have a tight end to the right in Zach Holland. They'll pull a couple of linemen, and Martinez is done. North Dakota State with six on the line of scrimmage. They rush four. Lawrence rolls right, cut off that direction, settles underneath, catch is made, but a good open fits. Justin Priest, the team's leading receiver in motion. Lawrence looked his way initially, fires down the near side, but did not give Bandy enough. On second down, they give it to Finda, and he is belted. Nowhere to go. Backer is part of the rush. North Dakota State rushes three. Lawrence whips it out. Dwelly could not get any type of or beat blocks against. San Diego with one first down. They pick up the blitz, swing it out to Dwelly, who makes a second catch. Exceptional. Split backs on second down. Pressure from the side. Lawrence dodges, dumps underneath. It's Blake Martin who makes it. It's start this afternoon. Took over the offense back in 2015, just like Stick. Martinez drags ahead for give a target to Justin Priest. The 1,000-yard receiver comes in motion. He'll punch it at the line of scrimmage. They go straight up the center with some power footballs. A man-for-man -man coverage situation for the Bison. Bandy and Priest, the receivers to the top, and flags fly, movement up front. Southland Conference crew, Michael Vanderbilt for the first time. That's the two-time first-team all-pioneer right tackle, Miles McCardle. And these fans know to get loud on third down. They run a stunt, picked up nicely. Lawrence floats right, settles underneath. It's Bandy with the catch. And this is going to be really close. North Dakota State indicating that the ball popped free. They're pointing as if they have the football. No indication yet from the officials. It happened real late after the contact. Full Carolina 2013 and 14. Teams that have made a return engagement back here to Fargo. Deep drop off the play fake, plenty of time for Lawrence, and he misfires. He Shallow crossers and deep overs, okay? and in that particular case, he had him on the deep over route and the protection to throw it uncharacteristically. Here comes a linebacker blitz. It's picked up. Lawrence dumps it underneath. It's the backup tight end, Zach Holland. See what Lawrence has done throughout his career, up with some pretty hefty names. He'll take a shot, trying to show some accuracy, looking for Holland. Threw it into double cut. Leg out to the wide field. Here comes the crowd inside the Fargo Dome. They pitch it, short pitch, inside hitter, and it's Martinez. Up down to five. Lawrence will try to get something going as Martinez over the left tackle falls ahead. Four more yards for Emilio. Starters back from a year ago. Power football, smash mouth. Trying to get airborne was Benda and the on the radio that he had passed and I kind of had to pull over to the side of the road and compose myself before I could go further. Defense this year and he said really quickly I have DeLuca and Tangway back. Two key cogs dragging pattern caught by Dwelly. This year for Lawrence. Here comes a double linebacker blitz. It's picked up. Lawrence floats. Incomplete. And here comes a late flat. To give the official an opportunity to make a call that didn't need to be made. So I put that on Grimsley. San Diego onto the Bison side of the field. Deep drop. Nothing open downfield. Pressure comes. And Lawrence gets rid of it in the nick of time. In combination man zone coverages, the Bison throw a lot of the quarterback. In that particular case, he had a long time. Kudos to the past year starter out of the St. Pete's, Florida area. Second down, not much happening for the Terrera. Four down territory. 
Rush comes up the middle, the pass tall and intercepted. He overshot. Center gaps on that side. Free up the middle. The look, um, Lawrence really doesn't make a. Lawrence in San Diego desperately trying to get something started, some type of rhythm for this offense that averaged 40 points a game during the course of the season. Good job as well by the cover corner, Jalen Allison. He has taken away Justin Priest from this offense until now. Priest makes his first catch. He's able to untackle. San Diego's top receiver this year, a thousand yard season with his first catch of the day. Here comes Cox on a blitz. Penalty flag is thrown. And a nice run by Benda. There was not ended. Big penalty pushes it all the way back to the 30. Benda with the call, running to the boundary side in the second down and 24 for Lawrence and the Toreros. Running hard is Martinez, and it takes four or five different. They'll be able to crank it up here, third and long for Lawrence. The Bison rush three, little shovel, having a tough time handling it was Martin. By the time he finally got a grasp of adjustments, San Diego can make offensively from the 23-yard line. They fake the jet sweep action. Lawrence is going to roll and taking his eyes off the foot. They have been the bullies and the pioneer the past decade. They pull a lineman for pass protection. Underneath, they'll try number two, and Martinez. Here comes the blitz off the edge. Lawrence is sacked back at the 13. All or defense for that situation. Out of the eye formation, it's a quick screen pass as they get the ball to Priest, and he'll pick up good yardage. 35 yard line, the two tight ends, Keating and Holland. Flip flop sides, they'll go to the left. They fake a pitch that way, bootleg right, pursuit coming, and Lawrence wide in the offseason. They've used them both inside and out with that rush. Second down and 10 at the 35. Quick throw to Priest, he'll make the catch, and then try to hurdle a defender. See the woes on third down today for the Torero. Slant over the middle, knocked away. They were looking for Holland. Good coverage by Grimsley. Headlining this program and seeing where North Dakota State has grown through the years. They run the stretch play for the first time. Deep looking to go into the quarters for the seventh straight year. Second down and three for the Toreros, and there is nothing over the left side. Season today, the goose egg, 0 for 9. Blitz off the edge. Lawrence lobs and a flag is thrown. Dwelly, coast tight end, who now is excelling for the Philadelphia Eagles. Pressure by DeLuca, he lowers the boom and Lawrence throws a strike. Priest came back to the football, he reacted. He's so good in there. It's a gain of 24 yards. Priest thought about throwing the football. Instead, he's going to run inside the 20, spins to the 15-yard line. What might be the final play of the quarter, it's Benda trekked up in the backfield, pitching the shutout. Deepest penetration of the game, though, for the Toreros. They have it at the 16, second and 11. Reverse pivot, Lawrence put some loft to it. Incomplete, looking for Dwell. Pressure up the middle, nowhere to go, and he's dumped again. Level of toughness, it's fun to watch these teams play. San Diego on first down, it is Martinez, and the one third victorious 28-10 earlier today over the Purple Paladins of Furman. Lawrence throws it low, making their first splash into the FCS playoff waters. Third down and 10, bobbled snap. Lawrence gets it back, a timing pattern, nobody home. San Diego with their best starting position of the day from the 48-yard line. Loya goes in motion. It is Reed Sennett, new quarterback in there for the Terrell. There's Marty Herney back as the general manager there, and he's really responsible for putting the roster together that has enabled the Panthers to be so successful. Through strike after strike against NAU. 
Third down and 10. Senate's going to step up and try to run for the first down, and he has tripped up five offensive linemen. Fourth, less than a yard. Senate's going to bootleg out, throw downfield toward the tight end. A juggling ball, and it's intercepted. Off the deflection, the tip drill by North Dakota State. Now against his Bison defense. Couple of sacks, seven tackles for losses. Couple of turnovers forced by North Dakota State. Second down from the 12-yard line. It is a give over the right side. A little bit of room up past the 20 to the 21-yard line. Diego is they push the ball just past the 20-yard line. Nate Loya in motion. Two tight ends set. Senate on a roll right will throw underneath, making the catch is Martinez. Now you look at what this looking to stretch that consecutive win streak in 2018. Yes, you're exactly right, Sean, with Coach Dale Lindsey coming back and his quarterback, Anthony Lawrence, coming back. There's a lot more win. College coaches told him coming out of high school, you're too short. You're not big enough. You're not fast enough. He didn't care. His nonstop engine is big heart. And what a career. During the course of the season, preliminary to a game on Saturday, on the preceding Thursday and Friday, the coaching staff has already, or members of the staff, have already begun to do some. So as dominant as North Dakota State has been against the run, Furman is a dedicated triple on 45 straight here at the Fargo Dome in non-conference action prior to last year's semifinal setback. One final heave and appropriately enough an exclamation point for this defense. 